Hey everyone, welcome to Local Memphis Live. I'm Yvette Whiteside. In today's Hot Topics, breaking news in Hollywood. Singer Whitney Houston is being resurrected as a hologram. Come on, fire! Of your head. Just comes off. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. I'm not singing Elvis in this house. No, no. Come back to the hotel, I'll sing it there, but not here. Juliana, let's start with you. What should celebrities not wear on the red carpet this year? The crazier, the better. I love seeing crazy outfits on the red carpet so that we have something to talk about on Fashion Police. The father of three told me that acting is a piece of cake, but his dance moves are a different story. Why do I feel this way? That's this is not safe, but you know this. What's next for Kevin Hart? This? Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Yvette Whiteside. I'm Lauren Raymer, thanks for joining us. And a former Denver DJ claims he lost his job after being accused of inappropriately touching Taylor Swift. Now he's suing. Tyra Banks is opening up about her struggles with fertility. Banks says she is now undergoing IVF, hoping to start a family with her photographer boyfriend of two years. And she's not the only one feeling the pressure. Trending right now, the NFL is in love with Bruno Mars. Entertainment Weekly says the Uptown Funk superstar will perform. Now Memphis native Cameron Whalem is a part of Bruno's band, The Hooligans. He will plan to hit the stage as well. Hey, hi, hey, Yvette. What's going on? Hi. Yvette, can you do a New York accent? You know, stop by the <laughs> city of New York. Come on out here. We got hot dogs. Yeah. Dancing with the Stars is already in full swing. Season 19 contestant Tavis Smiley is partner with pro dancer Shauna Burgess. I'm doing it for me. This is something that I've always wanted to do, and here's an opportunity to do it. If the audience comes along and, and, and enjoys the ride, which they apparently are, because they got me through the first week. He's been practicing over and over with his dance partner, and the aches and pains are starting to kick in. It's incredible, incredible. How I come back home and everything just <laughs> meets ice. I even had the chance to learn how to make my own smoothie. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you did it. I know, right? <laughs> Perfect, perfect. How does it feel to be a part of a, such a successful show that people are still watching today and then there's a possibility for it to be revamped? I was flipping through one time and I saw, it was one of those really things, I said, it looked like a, like a dead crow landed on my, like it just died on my head. It was like a black crowish kind of. Stop it. Last night I was at the screening. Yes. I saw you walking on the red carpet. Yes. And I said, Kevin, Kevin, stop right there. Let me get a picture. And this is the picture that this say, is the pose that you gave me. That right there. is an amazing picture. Look at that. Chuckles Comedy Club. What yeah. can folks expect? They can expect me to show up, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I might that my joke might be on you. They're gorgeous, but you didn't send a card or anything. <laughs> you didn't put your name on it. Let me show you that I can hit a strike. <laughs> You were on Jerry Springer. You were also on Mari. You were yep. playing the yes. baby daddy. Yes. I saw that. That was pretty funny. Yes, honey. <laughs> Listen, I'm man. We baby daddy. We're gonna Memphis is always fun to come. With. I mean, it's it's so rich in you know in, in the opportunities you have here, the, the culture, Beale Street, everything. I love it. You can catch the Jerry Springer show right here on CW30. And that's a wrap for Local Memphis Live. We'll see you next time.